Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today, we are gonna be planting potatoes. I've got these russets that had sprouted in my pantry, and so I placed them in a sunny window for a couple weeks to let them continue to start growing. And now we're gonna go ahead and plant them. So I'm gonna use the potting method. So I got a 20 gallon grow bag here. Uh, they're not very expensive. Um, the only thing I do have to fill it with soil, with potting soil. Now I got this bag, should fill the whole thing. It's a 50 quart. Um, it should fill the entire 20 gallon. Uh, and it was like eight bucks. So, I mean, it's a little pricey, but it's still pretty inexpensive for regular garden soil. I got that at Costco. Um, you could make your own if you wanted. You could also even use, if you've got decent dirt, some dirt that you dig up in your yard, uh, which we might amend, we, we might add a little bit in if this isn't enough. But, um, and then they're heavy feeders, so we're gonna add some fertilizer. Let's go ahead and get these planted and I'll show you what we're doing here. So right here, I've got some potatoes that I planted earlier. These are not russets. They're like, a, I think this is either the purple or the white. So I had like a little bag of multiple different colored small potatoes. Um, this is one of them. That's the purple or this is a purple. One is purple, one is white. And I put them in here. These have sprouted already. I planted these just a short time ago. Um, now it's time for the russets. Uh, these are a cool weather crop. Granted, they're going to grow into the summer, but when starting off, you kind of want to start them in spring, maybe about a week or two weeks before your last frost date. And once once your last frost date happens and they kind of grow out of the ground, then, then they're going to um, do really well. You really don't want to have 100 degree days or it's going to hinder them. This one's doing the best, but... Uh, these are these will come forth at one point so let's get started on the russets so eli's here he's going to help me and uh we're going to get this potted up so will you hold this open eli while i pour the potting soil in <sighs> so i actually did use some of this already in um in another pot so i mean it filled this whole thing now we do need a little bit more so so what we're going to do is eli we've got um, let's grab the shovel. In fact, let's bring this over. Can you grab one side? So we're gonna bring this over. So we have this pile of dirt that we had got for our raised beds. We're gonna dump a little bit of the soil in because I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect soil for potatoes. Um, it just has to be nutrient dense. Um, so we can always add more nutrients. So this miracle Grow potting soil, I'm sure it's got some of the fertilizer in it. It's been sitting for a while. It's kind of compact and hard, but I know right here is the perfect spot. All right, that's good. Dig there. All right, that's pretty well mixed. We are gonna take some of this out and put it in our wheelbarrow and then replace it on top. It's gonna make this a little easier. You wanna uh, help Abby? Abby's here helping. You're gonna help flatten all this out? You did a good job. All right, so Abby, do you wanna help put some fertilizer in and you too, Eli? Yeah. Let's let Abby do the first one. Can you grab a couple handfuls and sprinkle some of this fertilizer? So this is a 624 fertilizer. It's a natural organic made from uh, chicken manure. Dad, yeah, is, all, all over. Sprinkle it all over. Dad, the, the, the six is nitrogen. Keep on going. You got to get a lot in there. And what is the two? The two is potassium. And what is the four? Phosphorus. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. That's the opposite. Two is phosphorus. Th four is the potassium. Down, that's from chickens. All right. You want to grab a couple scoops and then bone meal. You want to sprinkle some? Not too much, okay? Don't go crazy. I'll tell you when. Keep on going though. We do want a lot. You want to sprinkle some, Abby? Okay. Let Abby know. Kids really wanted to help. Good. Oh, that's, that's okay. Uh, that's good. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna just mix this up. It does stink. It's all natural stuff. All right, work that into the soil. Now we're just gonna put the potatoes in. Here, you guys wanna... I'm gonna put in the big... So we got four of them here. Go ahead, put the big one and the, that part up. Here, this one, just lay it down, just like that. Good job. Let's move it over to the side. Here, you put that one on the, over here. Good job. Yeah, let's scoot this one over. Let's scoot this one. Kind of weird out. Yeah. All right, so now we're just gonna put the dirt back on top. 
All right, Abby wants to scoop some in. All right, good job, you're scooping some in. Do you want me to get the rest? No. All right, you're gonna do it all? All right, we'll be here a while. Good job spreading that out. Stuff. One good thing to put in would be compost. You know what? And we have this composted mulch. Let's use that mulch that has compost in it. Premium composted mulch. So and if you, it's going to help break that down a little better and give it more nutrients. And it's also going to keep uh, constant moisture on this. So, all right. So let's spread this out. You're going to get a splinter. No. Yeah. That's fine. I got to use my shovel if I do that. Okay. So, all right. So that's spread out. Good. Now, it's going to be really heavy. Oh, there's a lot of ants. How did they make it in? I don't know. They were just, I guess, living in that composted mulch. Will you do me a favor? Because we got to carry this to where we're going to put it. Here, do you want to just put it in the wheelbarrow? Let's see where we're going to put this. We've got the two potatoes over there. We could put it on that side. That's fine. Here, let's wheel it all the way over. All right, there we go. That's where it's going to live. And those ants will figure out what they're doing. I'll put some diatomaceous earth on there after I water this, um, probably tomorrow once that top layer dries. Um, maybe I'll do it right now. Hold on. All right, good job, guys. Thanks for helping. Now you skip the daily. Yep, that's what I usually say at the end. Or not at the end. We're gonna do more. So, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. All right, so it has been a couple weeks, and these potatoes we planted finally sprouted. So the potting mix already had fertilizer in it. So I'm not gonna add the granule fertilizer to this, but I am gonna add it to these. These are potatoes that I had planted before. These are a different variety. This is russet. These are those little round ones, like white and purple and red that you get in the grocery store. So I think that one's white, this one's the red. Might be opposite. But I am gonna add it to those because potatoes are heavy feeders. We're gonna Add a little bit around these. Use up that bag. And then I'm going to add this. This is the granule fertilizer. About a handful. And basically the molds, bacterias, and small organisms that live in the soil will break this down and make it available over a long period of time while that's getting broken down versus a liquid fertilizer. So we do need to scratch this in. Make sure it gets under the soil because otherwise it's not gonna get broken down and then it's useless. But I am gonna add some liquid fertilizer as well to give them a quick boost in this form. This is 6126, it's a pretty good one. A lot of, a lot of phosphorus. I don't have a lot of this left. There we go. So that's one ounce per gallon, it says on the directions here. One ounce with one gallon of water. This is a one and a half gallon, so I'm actually using a little less than it calls for. And I'm also gonna add some of this fish fertilizer. This is a 511, so mostly nitrogen. This is gonna add back nitrogen since that liquid was kind of low on nitrogen. Calls for one tablespoon per gallon of water. I always add more. Because it's really not gonna burn the plants. And just fill her up. So that basically kind of turns that into the measurement for a full gallon since that fish fertilizer is a little bit lighter and we use less of the pasta grow stuff and there we go and we're just going to water this in and that's going to give these an instant boost and there's a lot of good microbes in this and that'll help break down some of the other fertilizer that's not water soluble and i'm going to give it to this one here since we didn't give the organic granule fertilizer to this one we will put this fertilizer in and that'll help this grow as well. So it is March 17th, so we can keep track how long it took. It wasn't long at all for these to sprout. I mean, they already had the eyes on it. They were growing a little bit, so that was pretty quick. And the same thing with these. These were a little slower because I had planted them a little earlier and it was winter time. It got a little cold for them, and so I think they kind of died back, but they're re-sprouted. 
And periodically, I would say about once every two to three weeks, I'm gonna be adding fertilizer. Sometimes it'll just be liquid, sometimes the granule. Definitely in two weeks, I'm gonna add the granule to this one. See you guys in a couple weeks. So today is March 25th. Not too long since I fed these with the fertilizer. And take a look, guys, it is absolutely amazing. As you can see, there's explosive growth. Now, I did move them. They were over here, and I moved them over here because they weren't getting a ton of light because the peas got so tall. So now they're getting sun. So I moved them over here. So this is the one that we planted, a russet, and it's already so big and not that much time. So we're gonna let this continue growing and we'll be able to harvest it come mid-summer or so. We'll just keep feeding it every about two or three weeks. I'm gonna give it a nice feeding like I did because I, I really want this to grow big and strong they are heavy feeders just make sure you feed them and they'll grow for you they're quite easy actually and these pots make it really easy to be able to harvest so i'll do a video come soon once i harvest these on how i do that it's not hard at all basically you just dump these over onto a tarp sort through and find the potatoes not hard well thanks for watching everyone if you guys like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates also if you could hit the like button it would really help me and the channel out i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind